All right, Shalom. This is the part two of the the wicked man. All right. So this is Malachi. All right. And you have to watch the part one to understand exactly what I'm talking about. All right. It don't make sense for you to look at a part two. You haven't, you know, watched part one. Because you're going to be confused and lost. All right. Now, this is a book from Amazon. It says, are Esau's descendants of the white race? The Edomite by Richard Pohl. And I believe he's Jewish probably. All right. And uh, you can go and read this book. Anyway, I'm going to start off with Malachi. The first chapter says, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord, yet I love Jacob. Let's go back. Malachi 1, verse 2. I have loved you, said the Lord. Who is he talking to? You go to the first chapter, it says, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi the prophet. So the Lord speaks to his people by the way of the prophets. Go to Amos 3, and it says that uh, the Lord will, will do nothing, but reveal. But he revealed his, his secrets unto the servants, his prophets, all right? His servants, the prophets. So the Lord reveals his secrets, the mysteries of the Bible, all right, to his prophets, all right? Um. I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, so Israel says, wherein has thou loved us? So our people say, how does God love us? You know, look at, look at, the, look at the condition that our people are in. Well, we did it to ourselves. We didn't listen to Moses. We, you are your forefather, all right? So let's go down. Malachi 1, verse 3. I hate it. Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So Esau's heritage, he himself, his mountains, his governments, because mountains refer to governments, all right? His heritage, his, his government, his system that's set up will be like unto a wilderness, all right? His, his, his latter, latter end is destruction pursuant to Obadiah, the book of Obadiah. The whole book of Obadiah is about Esau and, and what Jacob is going to do to Esau. Also, Ezekiel, the 25th uh, chapter, uh, around, what, the 14th verse? You got Ezekiel 35. No, hold on. Ezekiel 37? No, yeah, Ezekiel 35, you know? So I hated Esau and lay his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Right? So let me let me do a quick search real quick. Uh, uh okay. See I, I clicked on the word and it changed it. Um, Esau used to used to mean red, and uh, they changed it. All right. So anyway, let's keep going. Malachi one, and okay, one and four. Whereas Edom said, "We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places." That's what happened after Rome fell. All right. That came right back up into power after we assumed power because us so called blacks did rule in Europe for a period of a thousand plus years. So after they fell out, they came right back into power. So that's where you get your, your, your Britain from today, you know, your America, your, uh, you know, Spain, you know. 
what I'm saying is Britain and Spain, who who's who's mainly there today? The Edomites. You know, Britain, Spain, all over Europe, man. You know, the sons of Japheth going into the Etrus uh the Etruscans, you know, they ruled over there in Europe. And then we had came into power. All right. Then after us, it was it was what what the Greeks, right? Wasn't Alexander the Great a Greek? All these people are the Edomites. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pull something up about uh like you. I'm gonna pull something up about Alexander the Great. All right, because he even uh not he, but um it's it's stated that Alexander the Great he knew that he was an Edomite. All right. And he knew that he stemmed from Esau. All right. All right, let's keep going. Malachi 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom says, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. So Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, is starting to throw down Esau Edom. All right. But I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. So Esau, Edom are being called, let's go back. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. So the Lord has indignation for Esau, Edom. All right, they're known as the border of of wickedness. Let's go into that. So that's why you got all these wars and so forth going on, you know, pedophilia rings and uh you know, stealing people's resources, lands, you know, taking people's heritage, you know, culture vulturing. All right, so let me go back. I clicked on the wrong one. All right, here you go. What the hell? It's like it. It's not playing. Wow. It's like it. Now it's not playing. Yeah, the sound is on. Yep. It's like it. Strong's H, okay. 1366. Gevul. Gevul. All right, Gevul. It says border, coast, bound, landmark, space, limit, quarters. Uh, it says border, territory, right? Enclosed with boundary. So whatever region, whatever uh, territory that they, that they live upon, all right, that whole area is known as the border of wickedness. All right, like for instance, when you see, okay, when the other nations see America, right? When they see the whole outlined United States, if they see a drawn picture of America, right? Now, say going back 20 years ago, America was known as, you know, uh, I don't want to say a paradise, but the land of, you know, money, opportunity, you know. So it had a title, all right? Um, everybody used to want to come to America, you know. Oh, yeah, I want to go there. You know, they got jobs. You know, America's the land of the free. Certain things that they can do in that country we can't do in ours, you know. So America had a, a pleasant title, you know. Uh, what the, It's an Arabic guy, an Ishmaelite guy uh, that said that back in his country, uh his friends would tell him about America because they've been here, you know, and basically, um, shit, basically they told him, you know, money was on the ground, you know, or, you know, in the streets of America, you know, money's just everywhere, you know, so 
they been lied to. He found out he was, you know, he been lied to because he came over here and seen how hard it was, you know. So America used to have a certain title to it, you know, and it's also referred to as the golden, uh, the golden city, you know. And so right here, Esau, Edom, they have a title to them. They're known as the border of wickedness. So all these different places, Britain, America, Spain, France, you know, Russia, uh, uh, these regions that they dwell in is the border of wickedness. All right. Uh, oh, okay. Now let's get wickedness. Why is it not playing? That's weird. Oh, <laughs> Salaki. <laughs> All right, let, let's do it again. Strong's H, 7564. Rish A. Rish A. All right, it says wickedness, wickedly fault. It says wickedness, guilt, wickedness in civil relations. So Esau is wicked in civil relations. All right, also dealing with, uh, actually, that word civil. Um, well, anyway, I don't want to make it too long, but anyway, Esau is, is wicked in his relations with dealing with people, you know, look at how Esau Edom treats, you know, uh, his brethren, which are the children of Israel, the white, the so-called white race is related to the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. So. He's evil dealing with his, with dealing with his own siblings, you know, and it's prophesied to be like that because the Lord made him the wicked. He's Cain, reincarnated. All right. Let's keep reading. Wickedness. Wickedness of enemies. And we are Esau's enemies. All right. And he has done a, a great amount of wickedness. To the children of Israel and is documented in the scriptures. Wick, wickedness, ethically, uh, Salaki, ethical and religious. Yeah, so Esau is wicked when it comes to civil relations. Let me let me let me see something real quick. All right, so civil relations. Let's get a definition. All right. It says civil relation. Let's see. It's referring to military. Uh, civil civil partnership. Uh, damn, I didn't want to get military though. Yeah, it's popping up a lot of stuff about military. Um, Yeah, it's not really giving me what I wanted. All right. So anyway, let's go back. So they're known as the border of wickedness. All right. Now it says the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Let's get the word indignation. Strong's H2194. Zaam. Zion. So it says I am, right? It says to de to denounce, express indignation, uh to have indignation, be angrily indignant, right? Uh to show indignation, anger, right? All right. And one more word. Let me let's get Edom. All right, so Edom, let's get Edom. Strong's H-123, Edom, Edom. All right, it says Edom, Edomites, Idumia. It says Edom equals red. So Esau, Adawam, or Edom Adawam means red. Why they're called red? Because the first came out red all over, like a hairy garment. When he came out from what? Between Rebecca's legs. As a baby, he came out red. He didn't have no indignation. 
And a perfect example of that is Napoleon Bonaparte. Look at his flesh. His shirt is white, right? His uniform is white, but his face is what? Red. Simple as that. His face is red, all right? <clears throat> so, and it says, uh, the Edom, the elder brother, elder twin brother of Jacob. Hence the region, Idumia, right? The border, the region, hence the region, Idumia, all right? So the border of wickedness, the region of Idumia, region, border, you know, you, you, know, you get it. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me see. Let's see. Why do I have this? All right, so let's go to Isaiah 34. It says, Come near, come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear and all that. Salaki in all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. So all nations, all people are supposed to take a, a note and listen to the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which are speaking of by the way of his prophets. All right. For the for the indignation of the of the Lord is come upon all nations and his fury upon all their Enemies, all right. I mean, Salakia, <laughs> Isaiah 34 and 2 For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He had utterly destroyed them, he had delivered them to the slaughter. This hasn't happened yet. This is coming. All nations have not been taken down at once, all right. Their slain also also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Going into the government, it's not actual, you know, uh, landmarks like mountains. No, it's to my governments, man. All right, these governments control the army. All right, he he's the one that's gonna not he. Uh, these governments are gonna lead their armies, you know. To this last war. It's going to cause them to be destroyed. Alright. So their blood. Uh, is upon these different governments man. And all the hosts of heaven. Shall be dissolved. The heavens shall be rolled together. As a scroll. And all their hosts shall fall down. As the leaf falleth off from the vine. And as a fallen fig. From the fig tree. So the heavens shall be rolled together. As a scroll. Look up what a scroll is. A scroll is, you know, like what our uh, forefathers used to read and write. You know, Yahweh Shah read the Dead Sea Scrolls. That scroll looks like a, you know, <laughs> like like a like a roll of toilet paper or, or a roll of tissue, not tissue, a roll of uh, paper tiles. You know, so the heavens are gonna roll back like that, representing the mushroom cloud. All right, when, when that nuclear when the ICBM hit, right, you see the big the big mushroom, you know, go up, you know, and, and and that's what represents, you know, the heavens being like unto a scroll, man. That's the only way they can can describe it back in in that time, you know, in the ancient times. It ain't like today, you know, it ain't like what we see today. Back then, you know, it was a more simple, simplified life. You know, there weren't no computers and this animation. There weren't all that, man. So they had to write this down to the best of their ability of what they seeing. So they referred to this destruction, the, uh, the missiles going off as a scroll. You know, when they when when they had this vision, all right, when they look up in the sky, you know, as, as the bomb blew up or even after. You know, what you see? You seen the mushroom cloud. All right. My sword. What the fuck? Salakia. Like anyway, Isaiah 34 and 5. <laughs> Salakia. Like it was a 
car with no mufflers on. All right. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Right? Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Idumia. Uh, uh, they haven't received a judgment yet. All right. The Edomites have not received their judgment yet. How we know that is because it's plain as day that they're still here. You know, and the actual Israelites are not in power. You go to Isaiah 14 and, and it reads that the Lord's going to set Israel in their own land. And they're going to rule over their oppressors. Revelation 13. And now, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Psalms 149. You know, they shall bind them king, they shall bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. I believe it's uh, Psalms 149 or 148. Yeah, I think there is 149. You know, that hasn't happened yet. You know, going to the prophecy in Isaiah. When it speaks about uh, the nation shall not learn war no more. They shall beat their uh, swords and the plowshares. You know, plowshares is going into crop. You know, you picking crop, planting and picking crop, you know, harvesting. So the people, not the people, but, you know, these uh, representing these different nations, man, they, they're going to captivity. You know, Isaiah, uh, what, 60. In various other scriptures, you know, the nation sh uh, shall build up thy walls, build up thy kingdom, you know. So, it's a lot of things that's not adding up. All right. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Idumia is Edom. All right. So, let's go down to uh, curse. All right, the word curse, the people of my curse. Strong's age, 2764. Hayden. Hayden. All right, it says net a curse. Dang, the curse. Second entry. Hayden. Hayden. All right, anyway. It says a thing devoted, thing uh, dedicated band devotion, a net thing, uh, perforated, right? Um, have been utterly destroyed, appointed to utter destruction. So Esau, Edom, Idumia, they haven't been utterly destroyed, but guess what? They're appointed to utter destruction. All right. So that's what's going to happen. And uh, I think it's a word. Why do I have? No, that's not what I want. It's not. Let's see. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. I don't know why that was up there. All right, so let's go into to judgment, the word judgment, which is Master Pot. And he's going to say something different, I think. Strong's yeah. H, 4941. Mishpat. Yeah. Mishpat. All right, it says judgment, manner, right, cause, ordinance, lawful. Let's keep going down. It says ju uh, judgment, justice, ordinance, right, act of deciding a case, place, court, seat of judgment, process, procedure, litigation, right, sentence, execution, time of judgment, right, so it's going to be a certain time of judgment for Esau and Edom. Uh, yeah, so that's all I'm going to get on that. All right. Uh, I don't know why I have this. What is going on? Oh, okay. I didn't want that though. Anyway, let me go to Isaiah Let me go to Isaiah 13. 
all right? The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Lift thee up a banner upon the high mountains. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. That's going into this truth. This truth have uh, uh, have went into the gates of the nobles, meaning the elite, the top, you know, ruling class family have they have heard this truth. They have seen and heard the Israelites waking up. All right, Salaki, bear with me real quick. So this truth has entered into the gates of the nobles. Let me, let me go into a few words on that. Let me see. Oh, it didn't give me what I want. It didn't give me what I want. All right. So anyway, so this truth has entered into the gates of the nobles. All right. And that banner is us saying that we Israel. We got 12 tribes uh, chart. You know, we, we are telling you who we are. All right. So we have lifted up a banner on the high mountains. All right. All these governments know that we are awake. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger. Even them that rejoice in my highness, right? The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustered the hosts of the battle. So this last war, really all these different wars, are mustered uh, by the Lord. The Lord gathered all these different nations for battle. All right. The Lord is a man of war. The Yahweh is a man of war. All right. He's he's the uh the author, you know, the finisher, you know, everything, man. Everything that people do, he controls that, whether they wicked, you know, or good. All right. So so the Lord of hosts must with the battle. Now go back up to verse 13 and 3. It says, I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger. All right. And I believe these are the angels. Or it could be the missiles. Let's see. All right. It says to consecrate, sanctify, prepare to dedicate, be hollow, be holy, be sanctified. To be set apart. All right. To keep oneself apart or separate. To call himself to be hallowed of God. To be observed as holy. So, But these are the missiles. All right. Actually, I don't know where is it. At. All right. All right, bear with me real quick. Yeah. So these are the angels, all right? Actually, let me let me I'm about to prove that. Bear with me. All right. So, I'm in Joel the 3rd chapter and it says I started verse 10 it says beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. So the Lord is telling these other nations. Actually, let me jump up. Let me jump up. Uh, all right, so Joel 3 and 9, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, the actual natural Gentiles, right? Not the Israelite foreigners. Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into, into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. So all these other nations... That couldn't uh, take on America, China, Iran, uh, 
What's what's the other nations? Various other nations, mainly dealing with China, Iran. You know, they they have this these I, uh, ICBMs. You know, and so now they're saying that they're strong. All right, and uh, plowshares and pruner hooks are are gardening tools. And what do you have today? For the sword is the gun. All right. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause our mighty ones to come down, O Lord. So that's the missiles. All right. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So it says Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shapat, which means Yahweh's judgment. All right, so the Lord's going <laughs> to execute judgment upon the heathen. All right. All right. Get ready to close this out. Let me go to Jeremiah, and uh, this will be the last uh, book that I get, or well, scriptures that I get. And let me see, where did I, oh man, I forgot my place. All right. Well, actually, so like, let me go back. I lost my place. Yeah, uh, well, I, I think, well, I, I can't get more. Yeah, you know what? I'll I close it out with this. All right, I'll close it. So with that, I say all praises or call halayim. Call halal means all praises. So call halalim. All right. Well, praises is halalim. All right. So call halalim. La to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai. So call halalim la Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. And I hope this sit down was edifying.